Hello and welcome to Co- <laughs> <laughs> This is for all you fucking whiny bitches in the comments who Hey, I don't like the crotch shot videos. Well, here you go. Here's a little bit of thing we can do in between. It'll uh, make everyone happy. So hello and welcome to Comment Comeback, the show where we go back to some of my older videos and have a look at just the most decrepit, mind-numbing, ulcer-inducing, sickening comments from the comment sections of the videos I've uploaded on my channel. This time we're going to be doing something a little bit different because I had an idea, a brainwave. So as you may or may not know, comments in the comment section can be ludicrous at times, to the point where it's hard to believe that they're even real. So what we're going to do this time is I have 21 comments overall, but the catch is half of them are real and half of them are completely fabricated and fake. The way I achieved this was by getting the Reddit community to help find some of the worst comments over any video. There wasn't a particular one they had to be from, they just, the, the, the goal was to find the worst comments they could. And the criteria was it had to be a real comment, they couldn't make up a comment. Because at the time, I didn't let them know what my plan was, so they just thought it was for a regular comment comeback. So then on my shitpost channel, Man Man Boy Boy Man, I uploaded this little shitpost just saying, in the comment section of that video, make it the worst comment section you have ever seen. Just comment the most atrocious, horrible stuff to leave the most just awful comment you can think of, but make it as convincing as possible. So then I got a nice collection of just abysmal comments. Now it's up to you, the viewer, to decide which ones are real or fake. So this is how it's gonna work, okay? Let me introduce you to my other sidekick, because people didn't really like the last one. I think everyone thought it was a bit annoying. <laughs> But let me introduce you to, uh, my uh, printer pal. He is a Canon printer. Not a product placement, just the cheapest one I could find. Would you like to introduce yourself, uh, printer pal? Yeah, if you could, if you could just speed that up a bit, that would be great. So Printer Pal knows which comments are real and which are fake, so at the end of reading the comment, he will print out a piece of paper that either says real or fake. You're gonna have to take my word for it that some are real and some are fake. All I can do is reassure you that the ones that are fake are fake and the ones that are real are real. So if you feel like it, make a little note when I start reading these comments, either saying real or fake, so you can play along and see how many guesses you got right in terms of which ones are real and which are fake, so let's go. Wow, only 561 dislikes? <laughs> You're just jealous because he's famouser than you, and you'll never get more money than him. First off, I don't think it's important to have any context for this. This could literally be a comment on any one of my comment sections about, you know, that mentions a human that isn't me. So believe it or not, this one is real. This was from a real comment section. I am hoping that one day Toon Squirtle does become more famouser than me, so then he can get more money than me as well. Computer addict with a funny scarce profile picture. Niggers are to black. That's so edgy it has to be fake and yeah it is fake. This is a fake one. Thank fucking god. Well well well. So your time has finally come has it not? The prophecy foretold of this kind of thing. Goodbye and say alert. That was game guy 886 with a fake comment that was not real. Maybe a bit too far with that one. Goodbye and say alert is a bit of a good giveaway. That's the kind of shit I'd say on my fucking podcast. <coughs> Pain Maximum comes in with a, a comment that I find incredibly difficult to read, but I'm, I'm gonna attempt it. So let's let's try. Hey Alex, you're so cute. <laughs> Wanna come into bed? It's okay if you fart. Let it all out. Anyway, can you please turn into a woman again so I can fuck you in the ass? <laughs> I know that you have the ability. You did it in the Tumblr video. Come on. Summer! Wink, wink. I love you, Alex. I'm gonna come! <laughs> uh, where to even fucking begin? First off, you, I don't need to be turned into a woman for you to have sexual relations with my bottom, so... I'm not really sure why that was... That, why that was even said. And the ending bit, I just have no idea how to interpret that. I bet you're thinking this is a fake comment 100% because it's so ridiculous, but... This is real. This is 100% real. This was left just n like a complete non sequitur in a comment section. Not replying to anyone. It's not even about the topic of whatever video it was on. Just completely fucking random. Someone typed that out. Someone spent their time 
typing that creepy shit out. I hate everything. You're a weeaboo. First off, let me just comment on the Labrador drinking Pepsi. Nice profile picture from, what, 2007? Good job. Definitely up to date on the funny pictures. And lastly, if you're going to call me a name, like a weeaboo, which first off makes no sense, by the way. But secondly, at least try and spell it right. It's not a difficult word to spell. And yes, this comment is also real. AJT Junk has this poignant thing to say to me. One day I'll find you, our house bitch, and I'll kill you. I hope you leave in Australia, because it'll make it really easy to find your ass and kill you, slag bitch. How about you get an argument? That was difficult enough to read in a really poor Australian accent, let alone just read normally. And despite this being something quite realistic to a comment section, this is in fact fake. Wow, Alex, you think you're smart? <laughs> Bitch, Zoella is much better than you, because she has 10 mil and you have one fucking baby boo with goo in your diaper. Also, eat a bong booty. I'd love to know what a bong booty is. If you know what a bong booty is, can you please tell me in the comments? And again, the comparing subscribers thing is often found in the comment section, but this comment in particular is fake. Do you honestly think this type of content is okay, you fucking cunt? We deserve more, and you deserve more. Don't give me any more of this lame-ass shit. If you continue this, you will lose every subscriber that you have, you absolute fucking bitch. And when that day comes, I hope you remember that I warned you to stop making such fake ass videos. Dead giveaway that this one is fake is the fact that the grammar is too consistent. So this one is fake. Very fake. I guess they forgot the golden rule of comedy. I don't believe in the golden rule, I came to get laid. But you're gonna die. Read the plot. What the fuck is any of this? What is any of this? This is, this is real. This one was 100% real. Uh, uh, <laughs> I guess that's a reference to Cars 3, the one that's coming up. Read, read the plot, but you're gonna die. Cause he looks like he's gonna die in Cars 3 or some shit. Move on, I, that was real. What a whiny bitch. I don't know if he's pinching his nose to sound that high pitched or he just sounds like a typical beta British pussy, but I'd love to punch this guy in the face just so he can break his nose and fix that annoying whine in his voice. Thanks, Calvin. Because I don't give you any visual representation of me other than like a cartoon or sometimes my body, my voice is often the thing that's attacked even if it makes no sense. I guess maybe it does sound a bit nasally. I do have a bit of a nasally thing going on right now, it's that time of the year. But this is one of those comments that could apply to anyone's voice, like, if it wasn't uh, an annoying whine, like you said for me, and my voice sounded more like colossal, He's crazy, for example, a bit more posh. Then the comment would say, oh, he's just a bunce boy faggot or whatever. But yeah, this one is real. This one is real, 100% real. Well, we got an alpha badass over here. Friends are like stars. They come and go, but the ones that stay are the ones that I hope you die. <laughs> I actually inspect elemented this one, so it's fake. Fred didn't not do nothing to you, Kanta. Right, Kanta, listen up. You're confusing me with your triple negative sentence. Didn't not is a double negative, but adding the do nothing is another negative, so that, I guess, evens out. So does that mean Fred... Oh, this is so confusing. Fred didn't not do nothing. So if Fred didn't, he didn't not do nothing. So he did do something. Is that right? Did I fuck that up? Either which way, this is a real comment. Um, obviously on the Fred review, the Fred movie trilogy review. Person with probably the worst fucking username I've ever seen on YouTube, just so fucking awful. Women are a result of evolution because evolution needed a way to counteract meteors. So if a meteor were to fly towards Earth, we just have to make all women use their pussies to suck the meteor in, therefore nullifying the meteor's impact. I can't keep up the act with this one, this is, this is one of the fucking cunt Jar Media podcast members who, who thinks he's a real comedian, ambushed orange. What the, what the fuck's your problem, James? Fucking cunt. Hey, women pussies. Pussy, pussy, pussy. Ew, sucking up meteors into my pussy. Dear IHG, I know what you're trying to do. Brainwash people into your opinions. But we are not as ignorant as you think, Brit. Some of us have intellect. Surprising, I know. But I hope this message gives you a brain cell or two. I'm afraid bottom bunker, it had the complete opposite effect. I think I fucking lost one or two brain cells from that one. And unfortunately, that is a real comment. I assume on a My Little Pony video, because that is uh, 
the character from My Little Pony. I still get angry emails about My Little Pony, by the way. Three years. It's been three years since that video. Three years. You fucking nigger. You're wrong. Oh, you're offended? Well, boo-hoo. Man up. I mean, I hate you libtard cucks who pander to the SJWs and the Muslims. They should rape you our mother so you would realize that. Oh wait, you're too brainwashed, so you deny any fact that conflict with your view of the world. Please bury yourself alive. That comment has so much edge, it actually cut a fucking huge gash in my arm. If you mention anything about politics or gender, it doesn't even matter what you say, you're gonna be called a, a libtard cuck. And luckily, this comment is a parody of all those typical comments you get on videos like that, and is 100 million percent fake. Dude, keep your shit to yourself, mate. Don't you fucking know you make people mad like they're shit, they're damn pants, mate. So I respect you, but fuck all your vids because they're all shit. And you're the fucking shit pen shit. And sh you shit your motherfucker's shit. I said too much shot, lol. But fuck you, mate. You know what? I have no respect for you, dick shithead. So do me a forever. Go fuck yourself, lol. Just shit, lol, fuck yourself. I talk too much. Bye. A good ducky shit day, motherfucker. Dick shit. And there's more. And go kill yourself, motherfucker. Ass shit, children, moron fucker. And you're shit just like your mum. Not gonna beat around the bush with this one. This was a real comment. The rose indicates that this is maybe a young female who stumbled across not only the video, but also has only just stumbled across what a swear word is. So they're really liberal with their use of swear words. They're finding it quite exhilarating, I think. And, you know, props to them for that. I don't want you to die. I just want you to be hurt really bad. Your videos are shitballs and you are a dick. And you clickbait also is a bad reviewer. Suicide Squad is great. I know this because it's nominated for an Oscar, you dummy. Okay, this comment was fake, which in itself isn't much of a crime. What is a crime, though, is Suicide Squad being nominated for an Oscar. I want that big, juicy dog cock in my small boy pussy hole and have it dripping with its baby fluid as my ass sucks on it hungrily. Rancid. Fucking awful. That is fucking disgusting. Really sexual episode this time. I apologize for that. And thank God this is fake. This is very fake. Well, the final comment now. Is it real? Is it fake? I unsubscribed for this. To which somebody replied with, First of all, you just discovered this. Second, you're going to unsubscribe because he didn't like something you like. Third, I don't think he deserves if you unsubscribe. Fourth, can you give me a good reason why you like this game? Kudos to you if you've read this far. It means you're smarter than I previously thought, they replied. One, it scares me. Two, there is a lot at fans of this and shut up. Three, I got a lot more friends in this at least more than you have. Burn. Are you a child? If all the fans kill themselves, would you? I asked four questions and you answered one. So please, if you don't mind, could you could you and answer my questions? No, but you would kill yourself and stop texting me, creep. And plus the unsubscribe part. My God, it's just a joke. Now you need to learn that FNAF blew up in 2014 and your fandom never blew up. Also, I just don't like people that make fun of the fandom that I like. Should know you're in a fandom, you should know what it feels like when people make fun of a fandom that you like. P.S. Stop texting me, creep! I think the amount of replies give away the fact that that is a real comment chain on Five Nights at Freddy's video. I think it speaks for itself. So, how many of those comments did you guess right as being fake or real? Tell me in the comments below. I'd like to thank the old printer pal for being a pal throughout this whole episode. You got anything you'd like to say? You didn't really add that much. You're you're a bit shit. To be honest, I don't think you'll be returning. But, uh, good effort. So, Printer Pal, take us home. Take us away. Finish, finish this, this episode for us.